Today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this crazy thermal camera shake inside of After Effects with no plugins. Let's go. Just so you know, this video is part of a three-part camera shake series on our channel. So if you wanna check out the rest of the videos, they're all linked below. Anyways, let's dive right in. First things first, go to layer, hit new, and create a new adjustment layer. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your cut right here and wherever that cut is, go 12 frames after that cut and hit command shift D to split that layer, delete the right side, and then go 12 frames before it. I'm, I'm just like kind of roughly guessing and hit command shift D again and delete the left part. Now go to your effects and presets and we're gonna search for the CC repetile effect. And now apply that repetile effect to your layer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change all of these expand right to 3000. Just set all of them to 3000. Once all these values are set to 3000, go back to your effects and presets. And now we're going to search for an effect that we're going to apply four times, exactly four times. And that is the mirror effect. Now, while we're applying that four times, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Devin Wynn. I've been a video for about seven years. I've shot and edited countless videos for these clients. And now I teach and give away all the sauce that I've learned completely for free here on this channel. And for those of you who really want to level up your edits and edit 10 times faster, Faster. I actually give away the exact presets and templates that I use for my videos all linked below in the description at 11percent.net So you can check it out if you want to edit a lot faster with that said Let's get back to the tutorial now that we have four mirror effects going on right here Watch and pay attention very closely We're gonna set all these values to very specific numbers first We're gonna go ahead and set all these reflection angles The first one is gonna be 90 the second one is gonna be 270 This third one is gonna be negative 180 and the last one We're gonna leave completely at zero then we're gonna set the reflection centers for the first mirror effect on the white coordinate we're going to type 2180 for the second mirror for the y coordinate we're going to type negative 12 for the third mirror effect we're going to type negative 6 in the x coordinate and then the last one you should be able to leave just like that at 1080 and voila now our clip looks exactly the same now you might be asking like why did we just do all that well i'm going to show you why go to your effects and presets and the next effect that you imply is the transform effect apply that transform to your adjustment layer and then you can see if we adjust the scale ta-da! we have this crazy looking kaleidoscope mirror effect and because we're creating camera shake, we are going to be zooming in and out. So it's very important that there are no edges on the sides of them. And the kaleidoscope mirror effect, that trick that we just did right there, it's a very, very simple way to basically speed up this process. And if you basically want to save even more time, you can go ahead and select the CC reptile on the four mirrors, go to animation and then hit save animation preset. I'm going to call this 11% mirror edges and save that to your user presets. So now this way, if you ever want to create another camera shake, all you have to do is search for your mirror edges effect, apply that to your adjustment layer, and you never have to repeat any of these steps again. Now that we have our transform effect applied, we're going to go to the very beginnings and we're just going to set a keyframe on the scale. You can go ahead and change the position if you want, but today we're just doing the scale to keep things simple. Click your adjustment layer in your timeline and hit the U key to see all the uh, animated keyframes and then go to the very end of your clip and then hit this keyframe icon to set another scale keyframe. Very, very important. Now go to the center of your clip and you can do two things. You can either zoom in or zoom out. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, so I'm going to set it to 80 and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little graph editor icon select all your keyframes and hit this little bezier icon and now let's go ahead and make these keyframes nice and smooth and buttery so i'm just kind of adjusting these anchors so that the movement is nice and smooth and then i'm going to go about three frames after the first keyframe or maybe like four frames and i'm going to actually create another keyframe just like that and then do the same thing on the opposite side so create another keyframe so now we have about five keyframes and i'm going to select these two keyframes and just bring these up a little bit actually higher than the original initial value and the reason i'm doing this is so that we kind of have this like bounce effect so it zooms out zooms in and if you play that out ta-da we got this cool looking camera shake and if that's too slow for you then you can literally just go ahead and mess around with these anchor keyframes and you'll get faster movement so that's kind of working for me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and uncheck use composition shutter angle increase the shutter angle up to like 360 and then click off this graph editor and if we play it out we see we got this crazy camera shake going on and uh yeah, it's pretty cool, very basic. Now let's make this effect actually look cool. Really quickly, before we go any further, if you ever run out of any cool visual effect ideas or need new transitions and effects for your projects with a fast turnaround, you should definitely download our editing presets at our website, 11percent.net. We have preset packs ranging from transitions and camera shakes all the way to cinematic title cards and 4K overlays. Also right now, if you buy one preset pack, you can get a second pack of your choice entirely for free. Saving time is the best investment any editor can make for themselves. So whether you're using Premiere Pro, Apple, 
After Effects or another editing software entirely. These packs are super easy to use, saving you hours of work. Make sure to check them out at 11%.net while this buy one get one free bundle lasts. Now let's get back to the tutorial. After that transform effect is done, we're gonna go back to our effects and presets and we're gonna search for the color rama effect. And we're gonna apply that color rama to our adjustment layer, just like that. Ta-da, we got this crazy looking thermal effect. Honestly, it's looking pretty cool as is, but let's go ahead and add some keyframes to make it look even cooler. Go one keyframe before the split cut of your clips. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit a keyframe on blend with original. Go one frame before, and we're gonna change that blend with original to 100%. And then just go one frame after your cut, not before. You're gonna have to hit the drop down on the actual adjustment layer for this one so that you can see the keyframe icon and hit that little keyframe icon to create another one. And lastly, go one frame after that and change the blend with original back up to 100%. And now your layer should look like this. So you got four keyframes, one at 100, one at zero, zero, and then 100. And if we play it out, ta-da, we got this crazy looking heat thermal flash effect. So it's really cool. If you want to take this a step further, I'd recommend adding a glow effect to your layer. So you can apply the After Effects glow, change the radius up to like 180. Maybe you want to turn up the threshold to like 90% or 100% because this is a very bright scene. And then what you're going to do is just go ahead and hit a keyframe on that glow intensity at the very center. Go to the beginning of your transition and then change that intensity back down to zero. Go to the end of the transition and change that intensity back down to zero as well. And ta-da, just like that, we got a crazy glow applied to our thermal effect. Very subtle, but it definitely helps add on to this camera shake effect. And by the way, you can of course add any types of camera shakes to these keyframes. You don't have to just do a zoom in. You can make it go to the right. You can make it go to the left. You can make it go right and left and you get some crazy camera shakes. Mess around with it. Have fun with the camera shakes. I'm just showing you how you can make it and how you can enhance these with some cool other effects. Hope you guys found something useful in this tutorial. If you want to learn how you can add warp camera shake effects to your videos just like this, you should check out this video linked right here.